Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here consider subscribing and uh, hit those likes and comment down there at the bottom. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the vehicle so far. Uh, today we're discussing my 2005 Audi A6 4.2 also known as my neglected Audi. I just gave it a bath so I figured I'd do the five things I dislike. I, want, I, I got hate on there but it's kind of a strong word for some of the, some of the things on this list. So first thing up is getting on that interior. All right, number five, no auxiliary. This vehicle has, let me see if I can get that open. One, two, three power supplies on the interior and no auxiliary. I got nowhere to plug my phone in, my device in. Now granted, it's got the XM, it's got the six disc changer. It's got the regular radio, but what if I got an audio book or I want to listen to a, a specific uh, podcast? I can't. Now, it does have Bluetooth, but it's only for phones, like if I wanted to dial through my phone. So that's number five. No auxiliary. I've been all all types of different models and uh, from the A4 to the A8 to the R8 and none of them have it, no matter what you pay. It might be something you can add on. I've seen online you can buy a dongle. Sounds like a weird word, but and, and it attaches to the six disc. And you gotta program the MMI to accept it. And you can plug your stuff in on that. But even on the early 2000s, some of the cheaper cars had uh you can plug into the radio or uh, something in the dash or in the console somewhere that uh you can plug your phone into. And that's my number five. All right, my number four, we're still on the interior. All this technology. I got start, stop. I got the navigation. I've got all, all this other crazy stuff. I got this fancy screen. I got to control it here and I can do whatever I want. I mean, just too much. I want to just get in, start the car, crank a little bit of my tunes on my basic little radio. I don't need anything extravagant. And, and that's about it. But this car, I mean, it is just loaded with all kinds of technology, nighttime stuff, daytime stuff, alerts of all kinds, and uh, it gets kind of old. I mean, we got the dual climates. A lot of cars have that, so you really can't avoid that. And, uh, and that's my number four. All right, now we're here to number three. And my third complaint or dislike about this vehicle is the ride. I mean, it rides smooth. It rides like a luxury car should ride. But it's got a big V8 in it. I mean, it should have a little st stiffer ride to it. Uh, I mean, it's only 330 horses. 310 pounds feet of torque. So it's it's not exactly going to a, a rocket ship. But I mean, it, compared to like the 3.2s or the 2 liters overseas or the diesels, it should have something stiffer or maybe some air suspension like in the A8s or something. Something that would let you, you know, make it feel like it's a little little stiffer than what it really is. I mean, other than that, it rides great and nice and smooth. Beautiful highway car. Beautiful high on the highway. But it's just, I mean, the stance is on it. It's too high. I mean, look at that wheel gap. And it's rocking 18s. I mean, on the newer models, yeah, they, I mean, they're looking a little sportier, a little lower. They got a different wheels and stuff, but it's just something about, they could have done something different about the suspension on this vehicle, on this model, anyway. All right, now we're up to number two. And my biggest gripe is maintenance. Everything that you would have to do, like, on a regular car is fairly easy on this the compressors underneath the engine the ac compressors under here water pump and all that stuff is behind the engine so you'd have to remove the engine to to service that i mean the, the parts are, are, are fairly priced a pretty good price that's why i drive these cars but it's the maintenance it's the the the, the labor of doing that simple job that i could do myself that you can do yourself You'd have to pay somebody who's got all the equipment 
just to rip out the engine and do some simple work like i said the compressor is tucked in over here it's chain driven instead of belt driven so instead of ripping off the nose and replacing it if it ever fails you got to rip off the nose and a whole bunch of other stuff engine mount and a bunch of other stuff to get that's in its way so that's number two just maintenance i mean there's a big labor cost to owning these vehicles i mean there's no room look at this i mean how are you gonna access anything there's no room for anything the only thing you can access are the plugs and the manifold which if they do fail i mean it's nice and easy but other than that everything else is removing the front end or removing the engine a lot of labor intensive stuff that's my number two and my number one is the overall looks I never liked this car because of the looks. I didn't buy this car because of the looks. Uh, you guys might want to refer to the, my neglected Audi video to, to understand why I bought this car. And the main reason I don't like this car is just really plain, really simple look. And the big grill. I've never been a fan of the big grill phase. And everybody's doing it now. Everybody from Toyota, Kias, all the way up to the, the new BMWs. You guys are going to be shocked if you haven't seen those yet. But just... My number one thing is I never like the way this car looks. And it's not the color. I've seen them in all different kinds of colors and different packages. But the overall look is just so, so plain. You can park it somewhere and forget where you parked it. It's, it doesn't stand up like an Audi should. My main gripe about the, the front grille like I said, it, it's not my thing. Is There was a time when you saw one of these coming up in your rear view. You knew what model it was from an A4 to an A6 to an A8 just by the bumper and the lights. Now with the way they're doing lights and grills and everything, they're all looking alike. I mean, then again, all manufacturers are doing that. I guess it's cost cutting or in engineering. But that's my number one. My number one, the looks. Never quite liked it. Well, thank you guys for coming by. And if you guys have any more input, if you own these vehicles or if you've seen these vehicles and you have something you don't like about these cars, put it down there in the comments. In the meantime, check out one of these videos and click that icon there. Please, help me out. So for now, be nice to each other, be safe, and Audi on.